Hello, as you know, my name is Kain Tunde Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with lesson 26 of our Spring Boot tutorials, this time in 2019, and we are going to be looking at uh, Spring Boot understanding entity relationships. For many programmers, this is actually a problem, uh, because entity relationships is not exactly the same way it is in relational database like SQL, uh, MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server, where you can easily drag the primary key right into the foreign key and bam, it, it creates a relationship for you. In this case, it's not, it doesn't happen that way. Relationship is handled in the code side using entity, uh, using entity relationships annotation. So let's, start, let's try to understand the database we are working with and then we are, we are going to see what annotations we can now add to our entities to help us uh, make them relate, create entity relationship between them. Before I continue, please subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button below so that you motivate me to continue doing this. If you have challenges whatsoever, leave it in the comment box and I'm going to get back to you to help you uh, solve this challenge. Many of my subscribers have actually mentioned some of the problems they have and I've helped to, to fix it. So if you look at the screen, you can see that we have users, posts and location. There are two relationships we are going to create. One is relationship between the users and the posts. You know that a post is made by a user. Now a user can make several posts. So one user can make several posts. Maybe every day you make two posts on a social network API, on a social network site. So here you have a user and a post, or users and posts. What kind of relationship is there? We have one user can make many posts. So we can say, one user to many posts. If we want to put it in another way, we can say many posts to one user, right? So when we open it and we are looking at the user's, uh, user's entity, and we are trying to uh, add the post variable there or post member variable, we can say one user to many posts, right? Or one to many. Now, if you are looking at users to location, one user cannot be in two locations. That is not possible. Uh, unless it's quantum theory and things, things like that, but it doesn't work. So we have users to location. We can have one location to many users. We have many one location, many users. So looking at it from the user side, we can say one one one, one location to many users or many users one location. So if we, if we are looking at location, that is, we can see users contain location. So we can say. Uh, one, one location to many users, but if we want to annotate it, we can say many users, one location. Okay, let's stop all this talk and then go to implement it. I think it will be clearer in that way. So I'm going to take this out and the procedure is here. Uh, don't forget to follow the procedure. If you have challenges, let me know. So let's first go to create the uh, many to one annotation in the user class. So let's open the user class and let's see how it works. So I'm going to open the user class. So now the first thing I'm going to do, if I've not done it before, I can't remember if I did it in the previous tutorial, you need to annotate your objects or your classes which represent entity with an entity annotation. I think that comes from Java the basis things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So annotate it with an entity annotation. And then also annotate the ID, which is the primary key with as ID annotation. So the ID of the, of, the, of the table, because the table must have a primary key, annotate the table with at ID annotation, capital I and small letter D. Uh, and then this now is the interesting part. We are trying to relate the user to the location because we have the location member variable here in this class. So the annotation will be many to one, right? Because the class is the user, so many users one location, many users, one location. So simply say at many to one. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. So this is very clear. So many users, because we are in the entity of user, many users, one location. So it's a very, it's very clear. Control Shift O on my keyboard will import all the necessary namespaces. Okay, fine. So we've added one of the relationship has been created here. So the next one is the relationship between the posts and the users. And let's open it and do it so that we can see how easy it is. So I'm going to open here. Again, I'm going to annotate the class with identity annotation. 
and also the ID, whatever the primary key is, is going to be annotated with the ID annotation. And then here we have users, user is a member variable of posts. So what relationship is there? Many posts, one user. So we can say many to one. So many is the side of the particular entity, the class where we are working with right now. Then the next one is the member variable side of it. So many users, many posts, one user. So we can say add many to one. So you can see how it works. So this is all you need to know, you need to do at this point. Control Shift O on my keyboard and it imports everything necessary. So this is how relationships work. And then I'll go back to the web page. Let me see what next we need to do. So I've added this, I've created this relationship. Let me see. So getting users by location. Um, since many users can have one location, we would like to get list of location, list of users by location. So in that case, we need in the user repository, I'm going to open it. So Let's see, let me see. So getting users by location, since many users can have one location, we would like to get list of users by location. So in the, I think I already wrote that. Let me keep this side by side, open side by side. So we need to write and add the line below in the repository. So I'm going to copy this going to copy into the into the user repository find by location which I already did okay so the next one uh, this I'm going to write it in the user service so I'm going to just copy this across the user service so uh, get users by location so I already did it as well so you can actually do it in your own site then again, also find user by ID, get a uh, list post, find by user ID. So find post by user ID. So get all the posts that have been made by a particular user. So copy this and put it in the post repository. So go to post repository and put it right there, which I already did as well. So. And then in the post service, you now copy this and paste as well. So in the post service, we are, we are going to paste this as well, which I already did as well. Get post by user, get all the posts that have been made by a particular user. Now we've come this far, we are not done yet. We need to write controller methods. But we do that, uh, I, would like it. I would like to explain a bit about request mapping and that we will do in the next lesson. So. Uh, don't give up, continue learning, and I'd uh, like to thank you for viewing. If you've not subscribed, subscribe right now. Let me know if you have challenges, and also feel free to, to share this video if you have some friends that would like to learn as well.